İngilizce ben devam edeceğim. Hüseyin Hoca Türkçe konuşacak. Ben İngilizce tercüme edeceğim. Lütfen sessiz ve sakin bir şekilde dinleyin. Ortada selfie çektiren kızlar. Uh, hello, welcome you all to our uh, presentation. The country is that our students prepared presentations in their home countries. And today we are going to watch it. And after that we will see the, uh, we will listen to a marvelous concert of the students and teachers of another uh, music school. Today's program is like this. First, Italy will make the country presentation because it's in the alphabetical order and it's the first country. Then Lithuania, Poland, Romania and Turkey. Then uh, music and art school students and teachers are going to give us a concert. First, classical Turkish music and then uh, Turkish uh, folk music. And then at around three o'clock we will finish the program. Uh, but first of all, I want to introduce you our school uh, headmaster uh, Hussein Kamil Manau. He wants to address you, uh, and I will make the translations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. birleştirir ve değişime yol açar. Avrupa Birliği projesi kapsamında e, önce ülkemize daha sonra Antalya'mıza gelen proje ortaklarımızdan İtalya, Litvanya, Polonya ve Romanya ekiplerine canı gönülden hoş geldiniz, safa geldiniz. Diyor. Music unites people and uh, causes the difference. First of all, I want to express my uh, very hard welcomes to the Italian, Lithuanian, Polish, Romania, and and Turkish uh, students. Welcome uh, to our country first and uh, our city and country. Kendilerini evlerinde gibi zannederler, zannetsinler. Çünkü bizde bir deyim var. Türkler misafirperverdir. Tabii ki. Uh, the who are coming, staying in the host families can feel themselves at they are at their home. Because in Turkey we say that we are very hospitality people. <gülüyor> Bu projeyi destekleyici anlamda ülkemizde bir deyim vardır. Müzik ruhun gıdasıdır. 
In, in Turkish, also, there is a proverb, music is the food of the soul. Aynı zamanda, müziğin dili evrenseldir denir. Bunun da en canlı örneğini burada yaşıyoruz. Öğrencilerimizin, kendi çocuklarımızın dinlediği müziklerden de bunun ispatı ortada. And also the language of the music is uh, universal and uh, it's clear that the children everywhere in the world are listening the same, same thing, same music. So it's a, a universal uh, language. Evet, ülkemize gelen, projeci kapsamında gelen ülke misafirlerimiz bu proje kapsamı çerçevesinde hem mutlu günler geçirirler hem ülkemizden mutlu ayrılırlar umarım. I hope that our guests will stay here uh, during their stay. They will have a happy time and they can leave our country in, uh, with the good memories. And I hope it will be okay when they leave our country. And uh, we again say them welcome. Mikrofonu alınca fazla uzatmak istemiyorum. Böyle bir mikrofonun şeyi vardır. Uzatırlar. Konuşmayı uzatıp sizlerin bu heyecanla beklediğiniz müzik eğlencesini Kısaltmak istemiyorum. Hepinize teşekkür ediyorum. İyi eğlenceler diliyorum. Başarılar diliyorum. I don't want to... I don't want to speak more. When somebody takes the microphone, then usually he speaks more. But I don't want to do it. And I wish you a good stay and a happy day. And a good... I want to leave you with the good music. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, we have the country presentations. <laughs> the Italy is the first one. We will watch a waterfall, a, a PowerPoint. Hadi, <laughs> Italia. Okay, enjoy the video. Sahne ışıklarını alalım. Sorry, there is a technical difficulty and they are trying to solve it as far as I see. We will wait a little bit. Monopoly. <laughs> 
is a touristic city in the region of Puglia, in southern Italy. There are several industries, business, and most of all, there is a strong interest in tourism, thanks to our attractive natural landscapes, like the sea, the olive groves, the hills, and the many archaeological sites. So, there is much concern for environmental issues, preservation of artistic heritage, and job opportunities for the young people. is one of the newest public high schools in Puglia with great potential in sensitive and challenging area of secondary art and musical education. The school is located in the city near in a large comfortable area. There are two buildings situated near the sea. The main building is located in Via Procaccia and hosts the multimedia course and the vocational school. The branch school is in Via Beccaria, where you can visit the other departments like the Art Museum and Music Museum. Both buildings are provided with modern, well-equipped laboratories and over 30 classrooms. The editorial functions as a theatre as well as a concert hall for musical performances or exhibitions. There are two very big gymnasiums and an outside court for various gym and sports events. There are over 500 students, some of different nationalities and 90 teachers employed. Our staff, which also includes a good number of super teachers, expert in the psychopedagogical problems of the pupils. Our students range from 14 to 19 years old and come from all types of family backgrounds. In both sections, the students also study a great range of basic subjects. Our school looks after new work opportunities for the students involving them in the process of all school disciplines, musical and artistic creation, developing their artistic skills and attitudes. Our students have excelled in various art and music competitions and been awarded regional and national prizes. Our art department includes four specializing courses, figurative arts and sculpture, Our 
department was opened in 2012 and has now five grades. The students study theoretical subjects such as music history, theory, analysis, composition and music technology and practical ones. They can also play an extra instrument or can study vocal training. There are several labs, music technology, drum lab, music labs and the concert hall. students prepared a very nice presentation and the second one Lithuania Lithuanian students are going to present the presentation one by one and we have three uh, students here okay please stay there but don't close it okay that's good can we have some light biraz ışık alabilir miyiz komutan tamam çok oldu sadece tek ışık ver çocukların üstüne okay so uh, welcome everyone and today we are going to present Lithuanian music and uh, we are going to talk about folk songs, classical music, and uh, pop culture. So, uh, pop music uh, is sorted of to like features, kinds, and UNESCO. <laughs> mostly sad. Uh, in our folk songs usually is described nature's life, like birds, domestic animals, as well as heart palm as walk, and uh, love stories, uh, lovely young couples relationships. And uh, kinds of uh, folk songs in Lithuania are one voiced and they are mostly very sad, even sounds like a moan, and uh, multi-voiced, multi-voiced, the first in regions, and are more popular among Lithuanians. It's all right. Hello, everyone. Where are you? Enjoy. It's me, Gregas, the voice from above. Uh, now we are going to listen to uh, one voice, Lithuanian folk song. Um, which is That's how one-voiced folk song sounds, and uh, there are also multi-voiced songs, as Katrina said, from a different region. So. I 
I guess that's enough. All right, girls, stage yours again. Okay, so and UNESCO, we are very proud that our folk songs uh, sung in canon. You can search about it in uh, Wikipedia. We're included in the UNESCO Non-Material Cultural Heritage List in 2010. And there's a few repetitive words in these songs and just like that. Hello, my name is Nicola and I will be presenting the second type of music, which is classical. I will be talking about the roots of Lithuania's academical music, Mikhailovich Konstantina Shilonis, Lithuania's most known culture institutions and orchestras, and Lithuania modern academic music. <laughs> So, me again. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about um, the Indian Lithuanian classical music, which um, wasn't originally created by Lithuanians. Uh, it was written by um, traveling uh, composers from uh, abroad who they were making a living out of creating uh, musical compositions for various performances or musicals or operas. So, I'll let you listen to one of remaining um, that kind of composition because they are really rare and uh, it's difficult to find something like it. Wait a second, technical difficulty. was joined to the Russia Empire, so Lithuania's cultural life was done until the start of 20th century. That's how well this university looks from the outside and from the inside. Real nice uh, opera. First opera ever staged in Lithuania was Helen's Kidnapping in 1636. It, it was the beginning of uh, professional operas in Lithuania. Vils became one of the first cities which outside of Italy had an early opera. Also, a uh, pretty fact that the noble and houses, the orchestras and carbels were kept and artists from West Europe performed. Uh, Birota was the first Lithuanian opera. The premiere was in Vilnius in 1904, and this day is also Lithuania's National Opera Day. Birota was later staged in Brooklyn, Boston, and Chicago. So, right now, I'll let you listen to one of the main songs from this musical. Which is... Oh well, we don't have it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Let's just go back to it. Mikhailovich uh, Konstantin Shilonis. We are very proud uh, of Mikhailovich Konstantin Shilonis because he was a composer and painter. He was is the most famous Lithuanian like uh, composer and painter and we are very proud of him. His most known symphonic poems are in the woods and the sea. This one is called In the Woods.
Olga Shlon's best known paintings are King's Tale, Rex, and Heaven. Uh, this, this is a list of Lithuania's most known culture institutions and orchestra. Uh, we are very proud of uh, modern academic music star uh, Melka Rašnite. She is the conductor of Birmingham City Symphony Orchestra. She is also the head of uh, Salzburg's Theatre, which is in Austria. She won a first contest of young conductors in 2012 in Salzburg. Also, uh, Ramanta Šeksnita, composer, pianist, the winner of Lithuania's National Culture and Art Award. Her music has been played in over more than 30 countries in such places as Berlin, Philharmonic, Lincoln Center, and Moscow Conservatory. Hello, my name is Hoshine, and I'm gonna talk about pop culture of Lithuania. So, developing pop music and artists, famous pop stars nowadays, most popular performance in Eurovision and music festivals. Uh, developing pop music and artists. Uh, since 1918, when Lithuania became an independent country, popular music started developing. Radio Center Orchestra was established, as well as many jazz orchestras. The most famous singers of this time were uh, Dee Donstis and Asha Manauskas. So these are Don Mantel, the ensemble of Enjazu and Yoga Shabikita. Uh, I'll let you listen to the ensemble of Enjazu song, which is called uh, Pomona Oda or Under My Skin. respected and known artists in Lithuania and also in Baltic countries or even further. Most popular performers in Eurovision. The project LT United achieved the highest result, sixth place in Eurovision Song Contest. Tony Motel presents younger generations who took the part in Eurovision twice for songs Love is Blind and I've been waiting for this night. And you can see them yourselves. So, all right, I'll let you listen to, I'll let you watch the performance of one of the best known Lithuanian performances in Eurovision for many, many reasons. You'll figure out why.
song right that just goes like this the entire song. <laughs> Cheer Festival is the only festival for free where the performers are the best and most awarded winning artists. <laughs> Not on slide. It's a three-day music event for those who love good music, nature, positive surroundings. Festival stars include Ellie Golding, Kunz, Lost Frequences, and the Sardina Country Music Festival has been organized since 1991. Festival stars, Lame and Rollstones, Country Hill, Nashville, and Bristol. Jazz festivals take place in Vilnius, capital city of Lithuania, Vaipada, Konas. They are very popular among jazz music lovers when they can listen to their favorite jazz singers. Thanks for your attention. Thank you for Lithuania. Uh, the students prepared a really very amazing uh, uh, program, and we informed about the Lithuanian music. And now it's Poly Poland, Poland. Poland. Unfortunately, Halil and Turgut are speaking, and they look. Mazureks, Nocturnes, Waltzes, and Concerts. Uh, he is so famous that a competition is held once every five years. The International Shopping Piano Competition. Uh, it is a piano competition held in Warsaw, in Poland. It was initiated in 1927 and has been held uh, since 1955. It's one of a few competitions that uh, are devoted entirely to the work of a single composer. Oh, and if you could uh, click on the speakers, because there's music installed. The same period, uh, Stanisław Maniuszko succeeded in the development of Polish opera. He is still uh, renowned for operas like Harka and The Hunted Mother.
can we start from the beginning? Thanks. Uh, so, uh, Andrzej Piasecny was born in 1971. He is more commonly known as Piasek and he's a Polish singer who represented uh, Poland in Eurovision Song Contest in 2001 with his song Too Long. Ewa Farna, born in 1993, is a Polish pop singer. In 2014, Ewa joined judging panel of the fourth series of X Factor in Poland. Natalia Nickel was born in 1995. In 2013, at the age of 18, Natalia began taking part in the second season of The Voice of Poland. Nickel went to the finish in fourth place. In 2013, she released her debut single, Will, which means in English, Wolf. The group Lemon was formed after participating in a talent show music, it must be the music. Uh, you can speed it up a little because there's a... Um... Polish alternative rock and punk music. Peja. Uh, uh, Leroy was born in 1971 in Poland as Piotr Krzysztof Marzec, but he's better known as Leroy. He's a Polish rapper and now a politician. Peja, who was born in 1976, was Polish rap musician, songwriter, and a producer. He's best known uh, as the footman of the Polish rap group Slam Satan. His birth name is Ryszard Andrzejewski. One of the earliest pioneers of Polish rock was Tadeusz Nalewa, a singer, guitarist and songwriter who began his career playing pop music in his group Breakout in 1968. Can we bo go back? Can we get over the Excuse me. Czesław Niemen, who was the one of most important original Polish singers of the last quarter century. He was singing mainly in Polish as one of the first Polish singers. Breakout is a Polish blues and rock band formed in 1968 
Between 1973 and 1975, the band went on concert to England and the Netherlands. Marek Grechuta was a Polish singer, songwriter and composer. He started his career in Karabetanawa in 1967. DSA is a Polish hard rock and heavy metal band that was formed in 1979. Lady Punk is a popular Polish rock band started in 1981. Lady Punk generated some attention in the United States in 1986 when MTV played the video for the band's single Minus Zero on rotation. Republika was a Polish rock band which began in 1978. Republika disbanded in summer 1986, but then came back in the 90s. Now I'm going to present you some Polish famous singers from around the world. Uh, Poland was successful at selling just com contemporary classical composers to an overseas audience. However, Poland has so far struggled to make an impression on Europeans' hearts. Uh, however, some of Polish singers are known worldwide, such, such as the singer Barbara. She was born in 1954 and started singing when she was 15. Golet Orchestra was founded in 1998. The, uh, uh, this is a group formed by two twin brothers. <laughs> Ursula was born in 1943 and has uh, dominated the hearts of the whole world with her song Papaya. Alicia was born in 1983. She appeared uh, in films like Trade and Partadeus. Her nickname is Turush. Thank you for your uh, attention. Thank you for the for students. It was very nice, very suitable, very, very good. And now it is time of Romania.
And the teachers for this uh, nice and uh, fresh food show. And now it is uh, Turkey. Turkey.
thank you to our students uh, who are preparing this uh, uh, video. And now, now live music, canlı music. And uh, first, in some minutes, the Turkish art music and then Turkish folk music. The program was prepared by the music students of uh, Antalya Fine Arts High School Music Department. And they are teachers and students of the... We will just ask for some minutes to prepare this. Okay. Birkaç dakika içinde hazırlanacak sahne. Daha sonra bir canlı müzik dinletisi var. Atso müzik grubunun öğrencilerinin hazırladığı bir şey. Ee, önce öğrenci ve öğretmenleri, Antalya'nın en iyi müzisyenleri, en iyi müzik sanatçıları bugün bizimle beraberler. The, the, the, best, the, the best singers and musicians of Antalya are today here with us. And uh, they prepared a show for us, a uh, small uh, residual. Bir Türk sanat müziği dinletisine yapıyoruz. Evet, Turkish Art Music, Bekir Özcan ve Mirzayev kanunda, Bilgu Başbağ, Keman, Sonay Yener Akardiyon ve Tolunay Sakiyev ritimde unutulmaz bir müzik ziyafeti verecekler. They are going to give us an unforgettable music fest effect. And... Uh, Tamam mı? Ses kontrolü. Hocalarımız Betül Özcanlı Mirzayev, Duygu Başbağ, Sonay Yener, Talunay Tagiyev'e büyük bir alkış öğrencimiz Tagiyev'e.
Kötülü Özcan'la Mirza'ya, Duygu Başbağ, Sonan Yeter, Sonan Kadir'e çok teşekkür ediyoruz kendilerine. Sahneye hazırlayacak olan çocuklar gelsin. Atsu Güzel Sanatları Sesi öğretmenlerine ve öğrencilerine çok teşekkür ediyoruz katkılarından dolayı. Şimdi Türk Halk Müziği grubu. Now we, we thank for this teachers and the students of Antalya Atsu Fine Arts High School teachers and students and now it is the folk music. Maçlar uyandı, bir anda ses verdi bütün mikrofonları. Ses kontrol. Ses. Hocam diğer mikrofonları daha bu kayısı salabilir miyiz? Bir de bağlamaları biraz daha böyle. Bu mikrofonda ses yok. Ses yok. Hocam daha bu kadar ikinci mikrofonda ses yok. Yaşar Turan Baran, Serdar Seven, Furkan Ererma. Daha sonra solistlerimiz gelecek. İlkim Yüce, Rubey Saşen, Öykü Naz Çolak, Fatma Nur Göçmez, Özlem Özdemir, Yaşar Turan Baran ve Bilal Eren gelecekler. Solist olarak da solistleri dinleyeceğiz.
e, program daha vardı ama sanırım salon boşaldı. Biz bitiriyoruz o zaman. Biz bize mi kaldık?
Sonra Ercan, Recep Hoca ve tüm öğrencilerimize ben öncelikle teşekkür ediyorum. Katılan tüm misafirlerimizde teşekkür ediyoruz. Hoşçakalın. Bugün Kemal Baş Poli'ye atıyor. Güzel taraftan lisesi teşekkür ederim. Students. Onay, Şener, Bilal, Eren, Recep Uluçay, Yaşar Turan, Baran, Serdar Seven, Furkan Eder, Ererman ve vokalistler İlkim Yüce, Rumeysa Şer, Öykünaz Çolak, Fatma Nur Göçmez, Özlem Özdemir, Yaşar Turan, Baran ve Bilal Eren. Çok teşekkürler. Thank you very much for this wonderful event. Thank you a lot. And today it's finished. Tomorrow morning all students are at the school at... 10 past 8 10 past 8 8 10